Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. It will be super helpful with you guys if you have a BMW guys, one series and you're trying to remove, replace spark plugs, find the gap for the spark plugs, the gap specs and the torque specs as well. Now, we will cover that guys on a 6-cylinder N52 engine, but even if you have other 6-cylinder engines, it may be helpful and it may be even helpful on some 4-cylinder engines guys. Before we start now, let me guys uh, tell you something. All the tools, parts, new spark plugs if you need, uh, everything that we use, we share the links in the description of the video below guys and you can see where we get our tools and parts from. We share it guys for your convenience. Another thing, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep providing this free information to you guys. Now, let us show you what we have here. N52 engine. That engine can be found in BMW 1 series, 3 series, 5 series, X3, X5 here in the United States. And you may have two different engine covers. Okay, one could be silver, one could be gray. The silver one is super easy to remove. You just grab and pull it straight up, guys. Uh, usually uh, the black, grayish black one it might have uh, screws that attach to it, so always check that guys, but usually most of them you will have where it attaches to the uh, uh, upper valve cover guys by bushings or screws. Now, before we continue guys, uh, your spark box will be right under the ignition coils and you have cylinder number one, two, three, four, five and number six. You start on the very front of the engine and cylinder number one is the very first one towards the radiator fan. But let me tell you something guys. This channel right here, Auto Repair guys, this is our main channel. We have helped more than 71 million people. Check it out, subscribe. We have information that can save you thousands of dollars. So now before we start, we'll demonstrate how to replace one spark plug. Now the procedure is the same for all six of them. You need to remove the ignition coil first. So go ahead and disconnect it. Pull that tap up and help the cable to come out by gently pulling the cable at the same time while you're lifting the tap up. Remove your ignition coil and right underneath, right here guys, you will have your spark plug. Now, if you have engine oil in the spark plug well guys, uh, this is a sign of a leaking valve cover gasket and we'll have a video how to actually replace it on BMW N52 engine. Get a 5.8 socket and get the spark plug loose. This needs to be a thin wall socket and we will list the one that we use in the description of the video below. This is guys the gap 2 that we use, it has multiple, okay, uh, multiple gauges and according to, uh, to what people say guys for that engine the gap should be set in inches, should be 0 0.043 inches or 1.1 millimeters. We have 1.1 and ours is, okay let me focus, okay right there right on the spot guys so ours is definitely good it's only about 15,000 miles out and it's still great so when you're ready to install it get it tight by hand you can apply a little bit of anti-seize spark plug compound on the on the spark plug uh, it's recommended even to do that get it tight by hand then get the torque wrench and people most people say to get it tight to about 20 uh, 23 newton meters plus minus 3 newton meters. That means you can go anywhere from 20 to 26. We go right in the middle, 23. It's a click type wrench. You hear a click, stop immediately guys. Listen now. That means you're done. If you keep going, you're going to put too much torque and that's going to cause trouble guys. Okay, and you can actually mess up your cylinder yet. So after that, get the ignition coil situated on top of the spark plug, find the spark plug, push it in and install the wire. After that, all you have to do, put your cover back on, engine cover, and you're ready to go. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.